Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're talking about no code tech job skills that can make you a lot of money on Fiverr. These no code job skills are the types of job skills that both big and small tech companies will pay the big 100K plus salaries for. And because of that, if you can figure out how to package these job skills into Fiverr gigs, you stand to profit because the reality is there's so much competition in the tech space and not every company can compete with companies offering 100K plus salaries for a particular skill set. So if you can offer these types of skills on Fiverr, you can benefit from all the tech companies looking to outsource this type of work. The best part is that none of these job skills require you to be a programmer, have a background in programming, or anything like that. So in this video, I'm gonna go over what each of these job skills are, and most importantly, how you can learn these skills if you don't currently possess them. All right, so job skill number one is product marketing. Right now, marketing is a massive priority for every company in the tech space. Every company in tech is selling something, whether it's a physical hardware product, a software as a service, professional services, whatever, every company is selling you something. And in the world we live in today, there are endless amounts of companies selling stuff and new companies popping up every day in tech, all competing for the attention of more or less the same group of potential customers. For that reason, product marketing is a tool in tech companies' arsenals that they use to get the attention of potential prospects or potential clients before the salesperson can actually close the deal and win the business. And the scope of skills that a product marketer would bring to the table for a particular company really varies based on the company, the type of product they're trying to sell, and who they're trying to sell it to. Here are some core skills you can look into if you'd like to go down the path of becoming a product marketer. Advertising, branding, pricing strategy, product differentiation, product video creation, general content creation for organic search and things like that, and sales enablement. Here's how you can learn the skills to get into product marketing. The first thing you can do is check out the Product Marketing Alliance. It's an organization that provides enablement and career path assistance to aspiring product marketers. They offer a bunch of different membership levels depending on your needs, and they also offer certifications that aspiring or new product marketers can strive to achieve to put on their resume to make them look better to potential employers. Even if you don't take advantage of any of the memberships or certification offered by the Product Marketing Alliance, you should definitely check out their homepage. They have an awesome post that details what product marketing is, gives you an idea of the types of job skills and paths you might go down. It's just a great resource that you should review if you're considering going down this path. The second way you can learn skills to become a product marketer is through Skillshare. Skillshare is a great option if your preferred method of learning is to tackle individual aspects of marketing one at a time. There's currently a bunch of different marketing courses on Skillshare from things like branding, product marketing, courses that teach you how to run and manage marketing-led events, copywriting, and a whole bunch of related marketing courses that teach skills that would help as a product marketer. And if you use my Skillshare link in the description of this video, you'll get a free trial so you can try some of these out. And the third way to get into product marketing is to go the more traditional route, and that's to get a formal education. Basically, any undergraduate program in advertising, marketing, communications, or general business would be sufficient to give you a foundation to get into marketing. But don't worry, if you're not too keen on actually enrolling and going through the whole university or college process, sites like Coursera offer some great online marketing programs. And the good thing about Coursera is it's super cheap. I'll leave a link down below if you'd like to check it out. So the second no code tech job skill we're talking about in this video is sales and business development. Believe it or not, sales and business development type skills are probably the skills with the lowest barrier to entry of all of these, but have the highest potential payout. To give you an idea, in a typical career setting, sales and business development professionals can make anywhere from like $30,000 per year on the entry level side of things, all the way up to seven figures and beyond. 
seriously. And it's for this reason that good sales talent can be pretty expensive for a lot of tech startups. So a lot of small startups or small tech companies will outsource a lot of different sales tasks. And that's where the opportunity is for you to capitalize on that on Fiverr. And this is actually the niche that I cater to as a freelancer myself. Coming from a career background in sales, I've personally been able to translate individual sales skills into quite a few profitable Fiverr gigs. Here's a list of some very lucrative sales skills that people will typically turn to sites like Fiverr to hire for. You could write sales cold call scripts. You can write sales prospecting emails. You can actually offer cold calling services. You can do sales coaching and sales consulting for companies looking to grow their sales teams and train their salespeople. You can design beautiful PowerPoint pitch decks for salespeople to use. And you can even offer to design RFP templates. Here's how you can get into sales and business development. So for sales and business development, I don't really recommend going down like a traditional education learning path. Basically, I think the best way to learn is through practice and learning sales methodologies. So the first thing I'd recommend you try to do to get a background in sales and business development is to actually apply for entry level sales roles at large companies. The barrier to entry is usually extremely low and most big companies offer excellent sales training programs. And for someone totally new to sales, this will provide you with invaluable experience that you'll eventually be able to translate to Fiverr gigs. The second way you can get into sales and business development is through reading. So through my career in sales, I've noticed that most sales organizations will build their sales process and their sales teams based on certain sales methodologies. A lot of these are either published in books or sold through coaching programs through sales training franchises. The first book you could check out to learn a really popular sales methodology is called The Challenger Sale. So reading this book and kind of up trying to apply these sales tactics to your day to day will probably flip everything you thought you knew about sales upside down. It's really popular and a lot of the most successful salespeople I've met use challenger sale. There's an Amazon link in the description of this video if you want to check out the book for yourself. The second sales methodology that you can look into is called Sandler sales training. In my opinion, Sandler is probably the most effective sales methodology and the one I apply most in my sales career. The only catch with Sandler is it's a training franchise and usually to get access to Sandler training, you need to hire a Sandler trainer to come in and train you or a group of people on your team. And it's pretty expensive. I think what I, from what I've heard, can run like $1,000 per learner per day of training. So that might be a little bit of a high barrier to entry for a lot of people, but check online and see if you can find any articles about Sandler that you can read up on. And the third sales methodology that you can look into is called spin selling and it's also really, really popular. Spin selling basically focuses on the qualification phase and the qualification questions that sales reps will ask during the discovery process. Situation, problem, implication, and need payoff. That's what spin selling focuses on. This one's also available in print. I've included a link down below as well. So job skill number three that we're talking about in this video is UI and UX research and design. Nowadays, anyone with UI or UX skills is an extreme asset across many different tech companies. Basically, if you're selling a SaaS solution or an application, people who do UI or UX design will look at the user interface and look at the user experience to make sure it's functioning in a way where people actually want want to use that application and it's easy for them to use that application, which is important to a lot of tech companies. And I can't overstate how important this is to tech companies because if an app is hard to use, guess what? People aren't gonna use it. So when it comes to selling UI and UX design and research services on Fiverr, here's a few that come to mind. Competitor research, application testing, UI and UX audits, QA testing, and consulting. Here's how you can get into UI and UX design. Number one is I'd recommend doing some research. There's a ton of helpful Reddit posts and articles on the internet that talk about how people have gotten into this field because the reality is it's a pretty new profession and a lot of people transition into UI or UX design 
from other roles. So the first thing I would do is look around and see if there's any guides or posts that talk about how people with similar experience to you have made that transition. The second way that you can get into UI and UX design is through a boot camp. So given that UI and UX design is something that, like I mentioned, people transition to from other careers, boot camps have become a really popular way for teaching people the core skills in a relatively short period of time of like two to three months so that they can transition into a role. These UI or UX design boot camps are offered both online or locally depending on your city and usually run a couple months. Most of them are paid, so I would look into it and see if you can find one that fits your budget and your timeline. All right, so those are the three no code tech jobs that I think will give you the opportunity to make a ton of money on Fiverr. And as I mentioned throughout this video, to get into any of them, you're gonna have to put in the time and the effort to learn the fundamentals and gain the experience so you can be a valuable asset selling these services. But I think it'll be worth it because these are job skills that are in high demand all across the tech industry in both small and large companies. Let me know in the comments if you plan on getting into any of these. Also, feel free to follow me on Twitter and subscribe to my newsletter to make sure you're up to date on all the things I'm working on. So if you've made it this far, you are truly awesome. Don't forget to like the video and until next time, cheers.